Hello guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blazing Glazed. So today I am pretty damn pumped because I am taking you guys thrifting with me for New York Fashion Week Street Style Inspo Yas. That is the theme, that is the move, that is the damn way today. I am so excited. I get so much damn inspiration from street style. And since it is mid fashion month and New York Fashion Week actually just wrapped up yesterday, I thought it would be so fun to pull some of the most like outrageous, amazing, just like fun looks that I've seen via street style on Instagram and blogs and YouTube over the past couple of days and hit the thrift and try to not just like recreate those outfits, although I have been so inspired inspired by so many of these looks that if you guys want me to do a like recreating like the best of fashion month street style video like from the thrift store leave me a comment down below letting me know because I would absolutely love to do that for you guys this video is more just like me pulling inspiration from the photos that I've seen and from the collections that I've seen hitting the thrift and seeing what I can come up with for myself so if you love fashion thrifting style getting down to the damn get down and having a damn good time hit subscribe down below and let's take it back to just a few days back when I thrifted New York Fashion Week street style inspo oh, yes so we have just pulled into the Savers parking lot. It is bare as a baby's bottom. And there's like really not that many cars in the parking lot. So I'm very excited about that. That is exactly how we like it. Nice and not busy at all. So we are going to head in and I'm obviously gonna be looking for the most like outrageous, fabulous, fantastical, colorful, interesting, just extremely unique and chic AF pieces that I can find. Hopefully summoning those pieces with the fabulous S pieces that I have on my dead body right now. First step, I'm gonna donate a bag because you know you gotta like give the good shit to get the good shit and then must pee. Then we can commence. Okay, let's go thrift. Right off the bat, I found this like checkered print shirt, which really normally isn't my vibe, but I feel like I could put together a killer street style look with it. Okay, so I have been looking around for a while, guys, and the music is just so damn loud. It's getting very hard to film, but I have found a couple of things. Some really great jackets and some great colors and textures. Some great lingerie pieces down here to kind of style up into some looks. I am gonna keep assessing around the store and see what else we can come up with before we hit the fitting room. This is a totally, totally dope piece. It's like a knit, sleeveless hoodie. It's only $2.99. It kind of gathers at the bottom. We love. So I thought this is definitely something because one, Marc Jacobs, and two, I thought that this kind of closed and then I could wear it as like a thick short sleeve cardigan vibe, but it doesn't close, so I'm not really into it open. Okay, I beelined right over this section because I saw fur hanging up. I always like beeline over to interesting textures when I see them. Um, this Jennifer Lopez top is a no-go, but this kind of like little mini furry top and like a really cute neutral, definitely. And I think we're gonna head off to the fitting room because I have a shit ton of shit. So we are in the fitting room and I didn't vlog as much out there shopping as I normally do because honestly, I was like sucked the F in. I found so many cool ass pieces. This one really kicked off the finds and then it kind of just continued to some great colors, some great textures and some, like I said, great colors that I am so damn excited to try on for you guys. So I'm going to go through these pieces, pair some of them together, pair some of them with some of the things that I'm wearing right now because I feel like I did a very street style vibe today. Kind of matching all these colors together and just playing around the pattern and whatnot. Like, yes. I'm feeling the vibe. Let's get this street style party going. Okay, but I'm using this first shirt that I found as my example as like my first base that I'm gonna layer some jackets over on top of. This isn't normally like my vibe. I've never actually like, I don't think owned anything in this like checkerboard print that I know has been like really popular for a long time. Um, let's see what we can do. Okay, so obviously this could be a very cool moment. I can't lie, I love the pop of the shirt um, underneath this like leather trench that I tried on that actually comes with this great like waist tie belt to cinch the waist. Because like for my personal style, like checkerboard print in your face, it's not really like my vibe, but like a peekaboo of it at the collar gives me very like 70s vibes. And of course this like checkerboard print in general just gives me very like Robbie Hard Sheets and a sister's basement in the wedding singer vibes. Mm -hmm. 
and i think obviously you could do it with sweatpants but i would ideally do it with like kind of like maybe like a shiny trouser like a shiny colored trouser or like a shiny purple colored trouser or green colored trouser i think that could be really really dope um or just some like black leather pants to match this jacket if that's more your vibe Okay, so obviously this little furry top is amazing. I think it's 100% my favorite find. Like, I know I haven't shown you guys all of the finds yet, but this is 100% my favorite. It's gorgeous, gorgeous color, gorgeous, gorgeous fit, and this amazing, like, furry texture. And we are making it a bit of a monochromatic moment. I know these aren't, like, the exact same color, but, like, go with me here. Look how magic this moment could be. I kind of do wish these were more of the same color, but it still kind of works. still gives that kind of monochromatic effect, especially if you did, like, a tan pant with them. I will show you guys that at home because I think I definitely am going to pick up this sweater this is street style gold i just feel like this shirt would completely pop um in a photo i'm just very in love with this so this is like super super wrinkly but see it's still like very cute with like this pop of blue on top of it for spring absolutely yes and like has out a pony I just feel like a pony would be the vibe Okay, so finding this to be a very, very cool and unique piece. Like you guys saw, it's only $2.99 and it's just like this very cool structured sweater material sleeveless hoodie. And there's something about it that just looks so luxe to me and so just like Gorgina. It looks like very cashmere, but like it's definitely not. And then this tie kind of gives it like an athleisure vibe. I just feel like you could do so much with this and there's absolutely no way this isn't coming home with me. It's just like street style luxe for $2.99, absolutely yes. So this is a mix of really cool colors and textures, but I just don't think I'll necessarily wear it. I think if I live in a colder climate I would it screams like really pretty winter vibes but also spring vibes which is these like colored textiles it's just so interesting look at that and like the textures it looks a little sprinkle okay yeah to get another kind of like monochromatic vibe this is like a seriously like neon colored long sleeve shirt that's actually kind of fitted and it's like gorgeous like kind of key lime pie inspired shimmy shake top that's pretty long um and i like the way it's structured i don't know i just like the feel of it and i feel like i could do some great things but this scream street style to me with obviously some different pants and when we get home i am going to style up all the pieces i pick up in fabulous as a street style looks from head to toe but for now i only have these bottoms to work with but up top i'm into this I had actually picked up this lingerie top, but looking at it now, I know it's going to be too big for me. I just like the way it was corseted and kind of had these like Madonna titties happening. Um, so I think something like this under this kind of shirt would be amazing for spring. Okay, so I guess this is more of like a dressed up street style vibe. I have like my sneakers on and this like blazer dress and then this like black lingerie dress underneath, which I wasn't planning on getting, but now that I tried it on, it fits me like kind of perfectly i feel like this dress would be a good thing to pick up for like a challenge to style for street style since i don't like really style dresses as often because i love it with the sneaks okay let's go home and style these babies up so i have my receipt and i ended up picking up one two three four five items which i think is pretty damn good you guys know i'm a lot more about quality over quantity and i'm going to grab the pieces that i purchased and take them from a thrift store dressing room to street style chic stepping up first to the stage is my favorite of all of the outfits guys obviously because colors are so damn loud and proud i couldn't not do a full-on just like crazy color moment this neon top right here was 5.99 and something that i feel like i would have skipped over maybe even a couple of weeks back and thought that it was kind of like tacky because of the neon but i had a vision for mixing it with pink these are the only pink pants that i personally own they are literally a pair of like scrub pants that i picked up thrifting a couple of videos back comment down below if you remember that and i did like a full pink monochromatic moment with this but for this look i wanted to take it a step even further and do a neon on pink combo and then this top right here that was 749 kind of sealed the deal for me on what i wanted to do with this outfit i kind of started envisioning it right away because these two colors like i said in the fitting room aren't like exactly matching but they're in like the same color family which I love and I feel like they just played off of each other super super well all of these tones together I feel like just play off of each other super super well and this is definitely a combo I will be rocking like literally to the grocery store I have on all of these items together and then I am pairing it with this little vintage Moschino bag because you know we're adding a little bit of designer to the thrift moment but it's all thrifted it's all vintage it's all sustainable so this look is definitely one of my favorites I think I like it even more without this shirt on because I'm just like so obsessed with this on this next up is the fabulous 
sleeveless hoodie cardigan moment. It was $2.99. This is one of those things that you just see at the thrift and you're like, that looks expensive, but it isn't. I must have. And I have her. For kind of more of a like athleisure, sporty, comfortable street style moment. I feel like a lot of good street style that I gravitate towards more is more like comfy chic. Being that this was so simple and there's really nothing about street style to me that screams simple, I wanted to do a nice giraffe pant with it, which if you guys are not new, you know these pants are famous on my channel. They are absolutely fabulous and I felt like they kind of just like brought the raw moment to this. And then I have this kind of just like really beautiful dark brown vintage leather coat that I thrifted um, back in Ohio a while ago. And I wanted to throw this on on top of it for more of a just like casual street style moment. I feel like it adds something like cooler to the jacket instead of just having a plain shirt underneath. And then I would tie this like this and then we'd add my like big brown bag. This would be for more of like a sensible look because you know it's not too out there unless you consider giraffe pants too out there, but I do not at all. And I absolutely love this look. Also, I'm loving this hairstyle lately, guys, but I can't help just feel like I have a giant turd on my head. 2020 hairstyle trends, turds on your head. Chic. Okay, stepping out on the town, sexy, sexy. And this would be for more of like an evening street style look, like we're hitting a party. To kind of make this a little bit more edgy, a little bit more me, I would throw on this oversized gray thrifted blazer that I have because I just feel like a blazer on top of like a little slinky dress is even more sexy. I live for mixing menswear and women's wear. I just think the juxtaposition of something like really tight and slinky underneath something a little bit more big and boxy is sexy, sexy. And then I have taken this kind of like belt. I played around with a lot of belts to go with this outfit and I wasn't really digging the look of any so I took this kind of like black tie belt off of my like liquid leather black trench that I have and I'm just gonna like tie it around this to cinch it at the waist because obviously that also brings a little bit more sexy sexy to it and then I just have my little vintage Fendi baguette and we're gonna throw that on and we're gonna dance 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 all night long dance 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 while we sing our song I feel like an outfit like this would make me feel so damn confident to go out and then obviously you could just like strip this off to like really get the party going but for me this is a night out street style Let's tie it back around. <laughs> Vibe. And last but certainly not least is Little Fuzz. That is literally what I have named her since I picked her up from the thrift. This top was a damn fine. This top is so freaking gorgeous. It's kind of the star of the show on its own, which is why I wanted to pair them with a pair of jeans. You guys know these are my favorite like high-waisted baggy baggy sweatpant jeans. And then I was kind of like thinking to myself like I could not be sure what to pair with it. I tried on like so many blazers, so many things. And the problem with this shirt is, not like the problem, it's a special damn shirt. But since it is so like puffy kind of, like you can't really see that it's puffy. I don't even know what I'm doing right Right now but like it's kind of puffier in a sense than like a normal t-shirt that I would pair underneath of something so I felt like I had to give this trench a New York Fashion Week street style inspired moment because this coat is amazing. I thrifted this in San Francisco. It is hella wrinkly. I mean, this coat has been the absolute hardest thing to keep not wrinkly. I packed it for my trip to Philly the other day and in my suitcase, it just like completely became a like crinkled up used napkin, but a chic as hell crinkled up used napkin to say the very least. So I wanted to show it to you guys anyway because we're not about perfection on this channel. We're just about inspiration and doing us. So I felt like this, because it was such a light material was one of the easier things for me to hair like like I said this puffy top underneath so this would honestly just be like a very casual street style outfit I feel like this is one that I could wear anywhere and I love it with the baggy baggy jeans and I just feel like you could have a whole moment like flinging this to the side flinging this off and just being like I am here I have arrived look at my furry shirt it was 349 so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I had so much fun thrifting with just like so much street style inspo in my mind like I said earlier I feel so damn inspired by street style so if you guys want me to do like a actually recreate creating the best of like fashion month street style looks from the thrift. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video and you just love like fashion and style and thrifting and yas, make sure to hit subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram at Macy Eleni for the daily morning dance parties. I love you guys so much. I'm turning red as a tomato as we speak. I'm literally as red as the record button that I'm staring at. Remember you're a beautiful ass queen no matter what. Don't let anyone shut down your damn sparkle and I will see you queens back here next week. Peace. Peace, love and thrift.